five minutes, and then we'll, members will ask questions. Um, uh, Ms. Del Greco, uh, the GAO report asserts that the FBI failed, uh, even though it's directed by law, to put out the privacy impact uh, assessment. Why did the FBI not fulfill the law, the requirement of the law, and why did you not update the privacy impact assessment? You have to put the... Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will defer to DOJ on that. What question. do you mean defer to DOJ? You are DOJ. So what do you mean defer? The privacy impact assessment uh, was submitted to the department. I will defer to them for a response. I'm sorry. We're having a hearing to ask you the questions, and the DOJ we put you up there. You seem like a very nice person, but you, you're supposed to be the one to answer that question. What do you mean defer? And As I've stated, the privacy impact assessment was submitted. and Years a late, right? Director Howard, you want to comment on this? Yes, that's correct. It was submitted years after both systems were being used uh, for real world use. So here's the problem. You're required by law to put out a privacy statement, and you didn't. And now we're supposed to trust you with hundreds of millions of people's faces in a system that you couldn't protect, even on, with the 702 issue. You know, we're talking about Mr. Flynn and how he was unmasked and all that, and there can be political gyrations, but set the nuts name aside and Donald Trump and all that. But even in that most stringent circumstance where they're, they're looking at information, somebody decided to take off that veil and release that out to the public. And we're supposed to, and the, and the Office of Personnel Management had tens of millions of federal workers who had information, where he, and it, some of it included fingerprints and other types of things. And that was stolen and let out, and those people are having to suffer the consequences the rest of their lives. Why should we trust you? The privacy was part of the entire process in the development phases of the interstate photo system. I know, but to, okay. I, the point is, as the GAO has rightfully, I think, pointed out, the FBI was required by law to comply with the law. You are part of the Department of Justice, and you failed to do so. You can, I hope you can see how this is a problem. A privacy impact assessment was initiated in 2008 on a pilot project for a proof of concept. Throughout the whole process, our privacy attorney was, was, was being advised of the changes that were being made in the development. Yeah, well, we don't believe you. And the second part of that is you're supposed to make that public. And the failure here is years after it was supposed to be made public, mm -hmm. you didn't do it. You were using it in a real world circumstance. You were actually using it and didn't issue the statement. I'll, 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 let me move on. You said a couple of times, Ms. Del Greco, in your, your testimony that this was a, and I quote, an investigative lead, that everybody should relax. It's just being used for an investigative lead, correct? That is correct. So why not collect everybody's fingerprints? That would be an investigative lead, right? Wouldn't that be easier if you had everybody's fingerprints? Why not collect everybody's fingerprints? We use fingerprint technology as a positive identification, and we still do today. But why not collect them all in advance? I mean, that would be easier, right? If you had a database, you'd collect them all in advance. Then when you go and you pull off somebody's fingerprints, you got a database, right? Why not do that? Fingerprints are collected with a criminal mugshot for an arrested purpose, for a yeah. law enforcement purpose. But you see the difference, right? Somebody's actually arrested, then they take their fingerprints. Somebody who is actually convicted, they, then you collect, the, then you have your fingerprints. But why not get them all in advance? What if we had all 330 million Americans' fingerprints in advance? That would be easier, wouldn't it? It would be easier, right? That's a question. We collect fingerprints with a criminal law enforcement purpose only. Right, right. Why not collect everybody's DNA? How about when everybody's born in the United States, we take a little vial, a sample of blood? Why, why don't we do that? And then everybody, we'd have everybody's DNA. And then when there's a crime, then we could go back and say, oh, well, let's collect that DNA. And now we have 330 million Americans. That would be easier, wouldn't it? I'm not at liberty to speak about the DNA collection. This is different. See, this is how 
Um, DNA is a valuable investigative tool. Fingerprints are a valuable investigative lead and tool. But what scares me is the FBI and the Department of Justice proactively trying to collect everybody's face. And then having a system with a network of cameras where if you go out in public, that too can be collected and then used in the wrong hands, nefarious hands, somebody in government misusing it, it does scare me. Are, are you aware of any other country that does this? Anybody on this panel? Is there any other country that's doing this? Yeah. Let me ask you uh, one other thing, and I'm, I'm going past my time here. Uh, past my time here. Um, do you have plans to match this database up with anything that's posted on social media? So in other words, if you go up on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and whatever the next new technology is, are you collecting that information that is out there on social media? No, we are not. The only information the FBI has and have collected in our database are criminal mugshot photos. We do not have any other photos in our repository. That's not true. Are you you're not collecting driver's licenses? We do not have driver's license photos in our repository at the FBI. Does anybody care to weigh in on this? Mr. Bedoya? Sure, Mr. Chairman. Um, I think this is a technicality. Uh, who owns and operates a database matters a lot less than who uses it and how it's used. The FBI has access to now 18 states' driver's license photos that either can run those searches or request them. We're talking more than a third of all Americans. So um, the FBI does have access to this, these photos to search them tens of thousands of times, and apparently by GAO's testimony, uh, never audited those searches for misuse. Would you disagree with that, Ms. Del Greco? We have access to the data. We do not maintain the data in our repository. And the access we have is pursuant to the provision in the Drivers Protection Act within the state accordance with federal law. Does anybody else care to weigh in on this topic? Ms. Lynch? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I would also add that the FBI has civil photos in its repository. Uh, so it's not just relying on driver's license databases, but it also has access to civil photos in its own NGI, IPS database. Um, these photos may in the future come from uh, background checks that people submit to as uh, trying to get employment or as a, a licensing requirement, but the database is not limited to just mugshot photos. Was the chairman yield? Sure. 